Cardington Airfield, 17th August 2016. A historic day for aviation. The world's largest aircraft, the Airlander, takes to the skies for the first time on its maiden flight. Pushing the boundaries with a new way of flying and bringing new capabilities in a green and sustainable manner. I'm Dave Burns, the Chief Test Pilot, and I've had the privilege of flying Airlander in all its flights. Airlander is a brand new type of aircraft that flies in a unique way, combining the best characteristics of traditional airplanes and airships. We took off just before dusk in perfect conditions and we quickly climbed above Carnington. Airlander's capabilities opens up a world of opportunity. It can remain airborne for up to five days, land and take off from a multitude of surfaces including grass, ice or water. Transport up to 10 tonnes point to point without the need for airports or infrastructure. No roads, no runways, no railways whether it's delivering fuel or equipment to remote parts of Alaska, providing temporary communication networks above disaster zones, delivering aid when tsunamis and earthquakes strike, or creating the ultimate luxury tourism experience on safari in Africa, the Airlander is a step change in aerospace capability. I'm Simon Davis, experimental test pilot at Hybrid Air Vehicles. Coming into land, we rotate the forward engines to get some cushioning upward thrust and gently float the last few feet to land safely. Flying Airlander, you get a real sense of how versatile and groundbreaking it will be in the many different roles it's been designed for. The first flight of an entirely new aircraft is the starting point of an exciting journey through a rigorous flight test program, followed by a series of trials and demonstrations. With the power to take off virtually anywhere and the ability to stay airborne for days at a time, Airlander can connect the world. Imagine the possibilities. <laughs>